What do you do, man? It's your boy Battle Truth coming to you live and direct from the Battle Truth headquarters. Let's get right off into this. So Tay Rock is 43 battles in. Close to 50. Just dropped the song. I might add, it was fire. It was fire. Shouts out to the boy on that. 43 battles in. The majority of all his battles is on URL. URL battle. Smack say it's one of my number one gunners and shooters. He came a long way, young man. Shouts out to Rock. Let me just clear the air on something pertaining to Rock. Let me tell you something, little bro. Real talk. This is what I want to first do as a man. Real talk. I may have been immature on a lot of situations. True, true enough. I may have been immature on a lot of situations. A lot of times I have done things um, to your shame for my own personal um, laughs and enjoyment. I took your shame and used it for my um, personal um, laughs of enjoyment. I have just to feed the community with comedy and jokes at your expense. I can honestly say as a man, I may have took things too far to the point where I just don't let go. And as a man, I can honestly say, I apologize for that. I apologize for that. As a believer, I try to get better and better to become a man. The Bible says you teach a wise man, he'll love you. If you correct a fool, he'll hate you. And as I grow more and more in God, let me just say this. As a man, I apologize, bro. I really do. However, I'm just going to keep it real. You know the things I was addressing that was out here that was true. There could have been a better way of how I handled things and knowing that truth. And I could admit to that. I could admit to that, but I know at the same time, we are to uplift our brothers and I could have been more encouraging to you rather than tearing you down. I could admit that. I'm going to admit that as a man. I'm really in. And I do apologize. And I mean that honestly and sincerely with my heart. You may not believe this because we never met. I never talked to you. But I'm going to say this, and this is not in words, bro. only. This is actually the truth. I say this to serve too, since I'm on the topic. I say this to serve too. I have a lot of respect for you, brother, to the point that y'all are made in the image and likeness of God. I personally don't want anything to happen to none of you, brothers. Not none of you, brothers, at all. Regard to how you may feel about me, how you may think about me. Personally, I don't care because for the most part, you will never see me. I will never see you. But at the end of the day, I do care. I do care about you, brothers. I really do. And I know um, as men, it's nothing wrong with admitting where you went wrong. at, Because this rarely seen in this, this damn age. It's rarely seen in this damn age. It really is. Where you actually, um, where you actually can have men admit their faults and extend the olive branch of peace when there is no friction really there. I physically don't owe you any money. I physically haven't heard it, heard it, uh, nobody. Why can't I reach my hands out in peace and just grow up? Just grow up. 
you're never too old to learn. And I'm steady learning every day. Um, I know these brothers have tremendous talent. And my job as a blogger for the most part is to actually um, be entertaining to my fan base and supporters that tune in for the entertainment, to tell the truth, to speak on the things that's happening and going on in battle rap. And it's not personal when it comes to me. It's not personal at all when it comes to me, at all. Um, I don't write nothing down. I freestyle. But when it's real, it's real. So I know how to relate. I know how to talk. I know how to kick it. I know how to address things. I know, you know. But I, but I, but, but I need to say this as a man. I could have had the things a lot better. I could have addressed things a lot better. For you and sir, I could have did that. Um, so as a man, as a man, I apologize. And I'm gonna try to find ways to be better with how I could do things, but still be entertaining because I know that the gifts and talent God put in me, I'm so good at this. I can be better at this and still be even better at this. So I'm going to work on that for me. Because again, at the end of the day, I don't need it on my conscience. I don't need it on my heart. Uh, I'm more mature in a lot of situations. Uh, I know I could be better. Because at the end of the day, y'all are men. We all are flawed. We all have things in our life we can work on, we can fix. But it's not even about we. Let me address me. Because see, that's another thing a lot of people do. They don't own up to their faults where they went wrong. Let me own up to mine. This ain't about y'all and the things in your life that you need to fix. This is about me or what I need to fix as a man. I could have handled things better. I could have been more respectable. I could have let things go. And yet I continue to do it. And as a man, I apologize for my faults, my error, my wrong. I don't need it on my heart. I don't want it on my heart. Um, I love the Lord. As I grow in God, God show me things, reveal things to me. I have to make peace. But this blogging thing is kind of confusing because so much stuff go on. I'd be like, ah, how could I not? But again, I believe I'm creative and good enough to still be solid. I'm good anyway. Man, when it's real, it's real, okay? So I know that. Hell, if I never do another joke ever, I'm good just popping the real. So I believe I'm good enough to be where I need to be, where I could be a better journalist in battle rap analyzing the game to where I could be more respectful. I'm going to say that. So I'm mad enough to say that. I say this to say, brother, you put in a lot of work. One of the most consistent, solid, strong young men in this game. I could tell you go through a lot. I could tell at times, you could be frustrated on things. Even when doing blogs, I try to always give you brothers advice. That's one thing I'm never guilty of not doing. Regard to how I address things, whatever I say thing, I always try to give you brothers advice. Because at the end of the day, I want to see y'all successful. And I'd rather y'all be making legal money than on these streets selling dope and getting your brain blew out over stupidity when you don't have to do that, when you don't have to live like that at all. Y'all are fathers, y'all have children. And when you look at this rap game, where it at right now, look what's happening. All y'all battle rappers wanted to be rappers in the mainstream industry. And look what happened. Y'all in the safest place of entertainment right now than what y'all could be if y'all was if y'all was actually real industry rappers. Them brothers getting murdered, killed, and whacked like that. 
like that. Them brothers dying at 20, 19, 18, 16, 21, 22. Murdered. Wiped off. Easy. At any light of success. Because clout chasing is at an all time high. And if they ain't getting murdered, killed, or whacked, they're getting indicted. They could have been every last one of y'all. So see how God spared y'all even through your own disappointments? Learn from that. Learn from that. Really do. Learn from that. You get... 43 battles in, if I'm not mistaken. And according to Rock, he wanted Jeff Do. I believe you deserve your Jeff Do, little bro. You have been holding it down for the URL ever since you've been like 16, 17 years old, brother. I believe URL is definitely entitled uh, not entitled, indebted to you, your hard work, your efforts, your um, pain you put in, man, from the highlights to the embarrassments. You definitely still one of those dudes, man. And no matter what came up against you, what, what, what you ever did to yourself or what was ever done to you, one thing that never left if the people love and support for you, no matter what, it never left. Um, let me just give you some advice as a leader. Here's my advice to you, bro. You don't have to be something you're not. You are who you are. If they got you this far, continue to let it bring you further in your life. Do not try to be something you're not to put yourself in something you can't get out of. As you get older, become more wiser to life. And knowing you're going to need God. Know who he is. Because he real. He true. That's for anybody that's listening. Y'all can play these games if you want. I see y'all worshiping gangs and cliques and K-gang this and all this worship and praise and blood, crip, all this. Let me tell you something. That's Satanism. You want people to praise y'all and y'all want the glory. Y'all want to be praised at the same time praising others. And all this praise and all this worship and all this glory y'all doing. Are you praising the Lord who gave you life? Who gave you your children? The woman you love? Your mama, your father, your brothers and sisters? Have you ever took the time out to thank the Lord Jesus Christ for dying on the cross for your sins? Have you ever did that? We praise gang leaders who dead and gone, who locked up in prison for the rest of their life. We claim blocks we don't own and run that the government control and can make you move off of. And yet when it comes to the God of all creation who loved you and gave his life for you, we don't show him no respect. We don't acknowledge him at all. We look at him as a simple thing. And so many people die in that unbelief. Never to have fixed the relationship between them and God that has been broken as a result of sin. And we allow people to distract us, to delay us from coming to God, to keep doubting our heart from doing the things that we need to do. And I'm telling you this because at the end of the day, bro, you're going to need him sooner or later. The Bible says every knee will bow and every tongue will confess that he is Lord to the glory of God. Philippians chapter 2. 
If y'all could read and research everything else about what's going on to put in your raps, why is it so hard for y'all to research and investigate the living God who made and created you who you will have to stand before when your time for judgment comes? So the greatest advice that I can give you is plea with you to come to the knowledge of Jesus Christ that you may be saved and have life. So, shouts out to Rock. 43 battles in, closing in on 50. He won a battle in Maryland, his hometown. I believe it's deserving of him. Smack, you owe that boy that much to do that for him. Let that man show off for the hometown. Let that man do what he do. Give him what he wants. He wanted quantum physics. Give him quantum physics. That can't hurt you. Give him quantum physics in Maryland and let it go down. Let him get his payback he wanted. That's the least you can do for the man. All that work he put in, all that money he did. Look, you ain't even got to be there. Let rocks, look, let P do it. Give P something to do. He always wants something to do. Give him something to do. P, set up the event in Baltimore for Rock. Set that up, okay? Set that up for Rock in Baltimore. Let him do what he had to do, okay? Because you ain't doing nothing anyway. You're sitting around there trying to act like you're important. You ain't important, and you set up little events. Let that man have a little event. Smack, if you're going to give, don't even worry about it. Shouts out to Rock. You did what you did. We're going to holler about that, man. It's your boy, Battle Truth. It ain't my judgment. That's a question. It's your Subscribe to Battle Truth.